among the many cool features of the Serbo GX, a couple neat ones are the ability to send push notifications to your email or to your phone in the event of an alarm state uh, aboard the boat. And that is accomplished through the digital inputs on the Serbo, which are wired simply uh, in a couple of ways. So I've illustrated two of those here. Um, one of them is a high bilge alarm, basically. So I've got a standard float switch here that is wired to the digital inputs. When I flip this over, I will complete the circuit, trigger the alarm, and on my console here, I will see that happen. So I turn the alarm over, alarm triggers, high bilge alarm on the remote console, and at the same time, notifications come to my phone indicating that there's a problem aboard the boat. As soon as that problem's resolved, in this case, turning the alarm back over, the alarm stops, and I get a recovery notification indicating that the problem has been resolved. So that's just a simple standard float switch, completes the circuit on the digital input, triggers the alarm, notification comes to your phone, to your email, to your computer, whatever you choose. The other possibility would be if I had this float switch wired to my bilge pump, uh, let's say, as is typical, and I wanted to know uh, when my bilge pump cycled when it came on. Um, in that case, I could potentially be running current and voltage to the digital input circuit, which is 3.3 volts, shouldn't see more than five. And so in this case, I'm using a dry contact, uh, a simple relay that is not passing any current to the digital input of the servo. So I've wired this relay up to positive and negative leads, and I've hooked it up to a power supply. This would be the battery. Uh, these wires would be, you know, the float switch assembly and the bilge pump. So when I increase the voltage on the power supply, you'll hear the alarm trigger. Well, you might hear that relay. You'll hear the alarm trigger, and then I will get a bilge pump notification on my servo. So here we go. There we go. Bilge pump alarm. Notifications come to both my phone and to email. I get those notifications on, on the screen as, as uh, alerts. Once that shuts off, pump turns off, servo ceases to alarm. I clear the alarm here. I can back up and look at my state. It tells me my bilge pump is off. My high bilge alarm is okay. I'll leave it on this screen while I turn the float switch over again. So I'm just going to flip this over to trigger it as though it were aboard the boat as a high water alarm. You saw the alarm state there. I'll leave it on here for a minute. I can clear the alarm, go back in that screen. And though I've cleared the audible alarm, I'm still getting a notification of an alarm state. Why? Because the circuit is complete and the digital input is triggered. So I put that vertical and my high bilge alarm goes off. So with the bilge pump, similar sort of thing, turn the voltage up on the power supply, pump kicks on, I get my bilge pump alarm, go back into my device list, bilge pump is on, I voltage down, pump is off, and you get that alert. Very slick system, super easy to integrate these kinds of things into the digital inputs.